Hi, my name is Hassan Al Jabri, and from this episode number eight, I want you to present to you today a very important concept. Now, before I present to you, I have to divide it into more than eight episodes. So we'll go step by step to understand what is all about this concept, which is called only one way out. The only one way out, you know, it will give an answer from those people, from the story you have heard about successful people, about how people they they become successful, how people they achieve their goals easily. We don't end up reading the inspiration and motivation quotes or watching YouTube with because there are a lot of inspiration there. There's a lot of energy. best one, even than mine. But but I'm here today not to present you the motivation or inspiration quote. I'm here today to present you a pathway, including those motivation and uh, inspiration. So it's the pathway to your success. How are you going to do it? Step by step. So without uh, further ado, as usual, we share with you the presentation. It's, I, I, I'm so excited, honestly, because the episode number eight, it, we will go to up to episode 20. Can you believe it? In order to present you mind encoded to success. So the me to success, as you've heard, or you, you can have a hashtag, you can research the hashtag, this is all over the internet. Me to success is a, an explanation of a concept, one way out concept, with other eight-minded encoded to success for you to be able to know exactly what to do and what to expect to be successful in your life, uh, in achieving your goals, okay? So in this, our first episode of Me to Success, you can see there, Me to Success number one. Of course, I'm the episode eight. I, I kept it under empowerment doors, by the way. So in this first episode, we're going to ask a question, why not me? We're going to find out a bridge to your goals and success. A discomfort, hardship, all related to me to success. We're going to tell you what you're going to uh, you know, expect to learn after you have seen all the series which I'll be presenting to you step by step, me to success objective, okay? And then next, in this episode, I'm going to show you the whole heading of the episode under Mind Encoded to Success. So let's start it right away and ask ourselves, we always ask ourselves this question, do you want to accomplish your professional and personal goals? Of course, but losing focus or you don't know where to start? Do you want to connect with information you seek, take action on them without wasting hundreds of hours online? Yeah? Do you want to accelerate your career growth? Do you want to possess a power of persuasion that you can persuade someone, you know? And career growth that you can grow, you see that yourself grow, you're not stagnant. Power of persuasion that I can tell you and I can convince you something and you going to do it, yeah? Do you want to recover faster from illness or surgery? Do you wish you can encourage your sick family member or friend only if they knew it how? So the me to success uh, is not about uh, uh, like uh, to be successful, it's also about to recover from sickness, to recover from loss, to recover from whatever we are passing through, yeah? Still, do you want to easily increase your network? Do you want to be role model at work, home, or even in your society? There to challenge yourself to the limit. Your life moving forward, but in circle. Repeat all over again. So interested to know more. Ever wonder how other people just like you and me, 
how they do it to achieve ex extraordinary achievement. Do you know that you can, you can, you can too, you can do it also? Do you want to open the door of a powerful mind to serve you? So all this question we need to ask it is not like, okay, no, uh, I'm just a, a normal person. I can achieve my goal in my own term. No, you will stay for a long time to achieve that. I'm going to show you the process that it will, it will be amazed you. But you need to stick with me with all the coming up series. So me to success is your bridge to connect with your goals. In the next slide, you know, I will present you some course. Uh, many of you, I know it doesn't make sense, or maybe you understand a little bit. And then when you read, you, you don't know, you lost, you know, you cannot take further action. Huh? It's inspiring, the, uh, you know, like uh, it's inspired in the seconds. But then you don't understand, okay, so what? And you continue to, with your life, you know. So I'm going to, you know, uh, not to worry about that. You know, I'll be able to understand, you'll be able to understand what they are talking about related to your situation, ambition, goal, with full potential to achieve them. Why? Because each one of one are different. Your situation is different than mine. His situation is different. So when I explain this, it don't relate it to the exactly to the court or exactly what I'm saying, always related to your situation. For example, this court here, it's, it said that it's when the discomfort strikes that they realize a strong mind is the most powerful weapon of all. I did, did you understand? Okay, so what discomfort? What strong mind? What powerful weapon? What they are talking about? Okay. We may understand in our, own, in our own way, but what you're about to learn from me to success, it will be exactly open up for you. So many things here in this court. It is almost impossible to be consistent with your goal. If your subconscious mind is constantly fed with negative perception of its own. So they have a subconscious mind they are talking, they are talking negative perception. Well, we can research in the internet, but still, important here is to connect the dot. And we find hard to connect the dot for us to implement truly to affect us, okay? So, the last one here, achievement, achievement comes out of fire, okay? Achievement come out of fire in our subconscious mind that I will win. Okay, this is okay. Subconscious mind, okay, so so what, how to use my subconscious mind? How How to go through it? Okay, I heard people talking about subconscious mind, the power of subconscious mind, but but how to connect? So what I'm going to present you in the coming episode is to connect these dots and you'll be able to use your subconscious mind in a very easy term. Yeah? So as uh, Lewis said, hardships often prepare ordinary people for an extraordinary density. That's he meant, he, he meant uh, destiny, sorry, destiny. Okay, so we know that people experience hardship and then uh, they, they are uh, prepared for, the, for themselves extraordinary uh, destiny. Okay, we heard about that, but what about me? I, I, I'm always in a hardship. How I can go to extraordinary destiny? without understand exactly A and B of that line there. The ordinary people for an extraordinary destiny and the hardship up there, yeah? So, Lewis was talking about trigger. This is what I'm going to tell you now. The source of the concept which I call only one way out situation, OOWO concept. Okay, now I'm starting to open up slowly now. So. Lewis was talking about trigger there. Without trigger, you'll not go anywhere. I'm going to use another term now, comfort zone. 
and in our next, uh, so this is what we're going to start in our next period, uh, series to explain to you about comfort zone. So only one way out is a very important concept. Successful individuals, rich, famous, unknown. One way or another, all of them back then, before they become role model, our role model, they did experience hardships. All of them, almost all of them. Leave aside those who are inherited wealth. Well, that, that's leave aside. Okay, they have, of course they have their own hardship, but I'm talking about normal people, those who became rich from nothing, and even there are people unknown to us, but they, they are very famous and they become successful in their life. Not necessarily famous, maybe just you and me. Well, then there's a question here. Come on, Hassan. Now you start to compare me, I'm a simple person. With those people, you know, Mahatma Gandhi, you know, like uh, Mother Teresa, you have uh, uh, Tom Cruise there, you have, you know, how. So this is my way how to present to you things, yeah? I'm always present you extreme. So why you compare our journey to success with rich, famous, and unknown? We are just normal people with normal goals in life. So this is the answer. This is the answer why I'm always uh, present to you extreme examples. During the marathon, I'll give an example. When I run a marathon, I'm prepared for marathon. The same track, the same path. There are famous people, elite marathon runners from all over the world. And we know that the famous one, the one who become number one as from Ethiopia, from other countries also. We are running in the same track. I may finish five hours, they may finish in two hours, the marathon, but I feel that the same track, these guys, the famous and the one who really achieve to be faster on the track, the same path, they pass to the same, same like me. So I'm, I'm going through their same path. Can, can you know, understand it now? I hope you'll, you will connect what I'm trying to talk here. So we always need to achieve higher, okay, than normal. So let me go back to the quote, which is uh, Lewis, he was talking about hardship and extraordinary destiny, yeah? Okay, in the next slide. This is how I'll be going to connect with you. And this is in the coming episode. This is just an example I'm showing you. So hardship always cause the triggers. The different triggers we have. Me, you, him, her. Each person have a different trigger, not necessarily to be the same trigger. From the hardship, there are some trigger us that we need to change. We don't need this discomfort to happen to us again. We need to move forward. I need to come out of my comfort zone. I need to finish this project. There's no way my boss every time blaming shouted at me. There's no way. So these are the triggers. And then when you come down, type of mind encoded plus combination of eight powerful mindset. In the next episode, I will explain one by one what are these eight powerful mindset. And then you go to subconscious mind in action. You have a trigger. You have a one of the eight mind encoded to success, this powerful mindset. You trigger your subconscious mind automatically in action. And then you are not looking back, no second thought. You are becoming under only one way out concept. You'll be using only one way out automatically to achieve the success. And then you have a success. You may achieve once was impossible for you, too possible. Why I'm saying once was impossible for you? Because as I said again, each one we have a different capabilities. I cannot tell you each one of you to complete 42 kilometer marathon, no. I cannot uh, tell each one of you, you can start a company right away 
and manage it within a two years, you become billionaire, billionaire. So each one of us is different. And then I put one so it's impossible. The project that you finish or, or some pending item once was impossible, you're going to finish. Okay, the time that you always said you are going to the beach to run or maybe gym or maybe accomplish something and you hesitate with all this process with the triggers, you will be achieving that. So that's why your achievement is those things that it was impossible for you before. And then you have extraordinary dest destiny. Yeah. So by success, we do not mean wealth only. Huh? Once you don't know how to drive, then you, you took all necessary action to get a driving license. That is a success. And a very simple trigger here, you don't want to walk. To, to walk two, three, four kilometers, 40 kilometers, you'll be late. And learn how to swim, that is a success. You want to keep fit your body, you want to prevent a back ache. You go to swim. The trigger is a back ache. So by the end of this Me to Success Empowerment Doors series, uh, you will be able to understand and identify with the real life example. The, you're going to identify what are the triggers uh, or concept only one way out. You're going to know more eight powerful mindset and command of your subconscious mind. You there's again you're going to identify the main eight mind uh, encoded to success uh, the mindset you'll be learning what is the comfort zone its disadvantage and how to come out of it you're going to learn a sense of ownership and accountability of your situation you're going to create of a point of no return to achieve anything in life both personal level and professional level you'll be able to connect this concept with what you have learned in the last episode of Free to Success series. Practice how to deal with stress, stay positive, deal with difficult situations, on the job and out of the job. Develop understanding of change process, be able to think critically. Okay, you'll gain a great understanding of your own personality, personal identity. You'll be develop a sense of confidence and believe in yourself. You will possess enhanced sense of obligation to reach higher and feel encouraged and inspired to grow. Last but not least, you will experience a growth in self-confidence. You will be able to experience the growing force of positive energy, positive change. Yeah? So stick with me, okay? To go all this through episode, of course, it will take time. Within a week, we'll complete, maybe within a two weeks because this is all I need to record the same like this and explain to you. Until the last one, episode number 24, you can see 24 there. So I hope you'll join me with, all to, with me in all these episodes, okay? As you saw in your subconscious mind, so shall you reap in your body and environment. So you're going to understand the power of your subconscious mind, affect your body and affect your environment. Yeah, so this is a reference as usual, and thank you very much. So I hope I uh, will see you in the next episode. Yeah, and uh, try to stick with me because people are so not patient. You know, they don't like to just wait and listen what this guy is talking about. As soon as, uh, you know, they see, mm, the way you talk or maybe the way how I you how you talk present they will just you know you know you know the internet and social media nowadays it keep people in limbo meaning that they are not this side they're not this side they're just like all over and at the end of the day they come out with nothing so you don't be like that okay until next time see you